What is evaporation? The spontaneous escape of the high energy molecules from the liquid surface into the vapor state is called evaporation. Or simply we can say that evaporation is a process of the change of the liquid to a gaseous state below its boiling point. Remember that evaporation is a surface phenomena and it takes place at all temperature below the boiling point. All the molecules in the liquid do not possess equal energies at any temperature, so they move with different velocities. When the high energy molecules hit the molecules on the surface of the liquid, they give part of their energy to the surface molecules, which become able to overcome the force of attraction and thus leave the liquid surface. In this way, evaporation takes place. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. Let's see how this process of evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid. As you can see here is a diagram of the liquid and the gaseous state. Remember that the molecules below the surface of the liquid have the stronger force of attraction from all sides. Whereas the molecules at the top of the liquid do not attract it from the top of the surface. So they have lesser intermolecular force of attraction. By gaining little amount of the energy from the surrounding, these molecules increase the kinetic energy to such an extent that they overcome the force of attraction and escape as gas. Evaporation causes the cooling effect. Remember that the, all the molecules in the liquid do not possess equal energies at any temperature, so they move with different velocities. When the high energy molecules hit the molecules on the surface of the liquid, they give part of their energy to the surface molecule, which become able to overcome the force of attraction and thus leave the liquid surface. In this way, evaporation takes place. As the high energy molecules escapes from the liquid surface, therefore the average kinetic energy of the remaining molecules decreases and hence temperature falls. It is this reason that the evaporation causes cooling. Examples of the cooling effect of evaporation If a drop of ether or acetone is placed on the palm, it disappears within few seconds and the palm feels cold. This is because all the molecules in the liquid do not have the same energy. Most of the molecules have an average kinetic energy. Some molecules have higher energies. These high energy molecules are able to break away the cohesive forces and escape as vapors. The average kinetic energy of the remaining molecules therefore falls. The remaining molecules draw the necessary heat from its surrounding to increase their kinetic energy and evaporates. As a result, the surrounding get cooled. Another example of the evaporation caused the cooling effect is the sweating during the summer. During the summer, the sweating is found to cool our body as the moisture evaporates from the skin. Sprinkling water on the floor or on the roof during the summer causes the cooling effect. This is because the surface water molecules absorb the heat from the surrounding and escape to the atmosphere. As a result, the average kinetic energy of the remaining molecules therefore falls. The remaining molecules draw the necessary heat from its surrounding to increase their kinetic energy and evaporate. As a result, the surrounding that is the floor, ground or roof get cooled. Another example is the air cooler, which give the cold effect in the month of the May and June and produce suffocation in the month of August and September. This is because the air or the atmosphere have a specific water vapors holding capacity. During the month of the May and June, the normal process of evaporation takes place smoothly and causes the cooling effect. But during the month of the August and September, the humidity in the atmosphere increases which decreases the rate of evaporation. 
wearing cotton fabrics during the summer feel comfortable because the cotton fabrics having the small pores absorb our sweat and evaporate through these pores. As a result, we feel comfortable and cool in the cotton fabrics. Factors affecting evaporation First is the intermolecular force of attraction. To understand the effect of intermolecular force of attraction on evaporation, let's perform an experiment. Pour some water in one plate and ether into another plate. After some time, you can observe that the water evaporates to a very little extent whereas the ether evaporate quickly. This is due to the strong force of attraction present between the water molecules which hold the molecules firmly and less molecules can overcome the force of attraction and escape out of the liquid surface into the vapor or the gaseous state. Whereas the ether having the less force of attraction and the more molecules can easily overcome the force of attraction and escape into the gaseous state. That is why ether is said to be volatile. From this experiment, we conclude that more the force of attraction present between the molecules result in the less rate of evaporation. And the less or weak force of attraction between the molecule result in greater or quick evaporation. Temperature Temperature also affects the rate of evaporation. Do you observe the quick drying of the washcloths during hot sunny day? The reason is that heat increases the kinetic energy of the surface molecules of the clothes quickly and gives chance to the greater number of the molecules to escape out into the gaseous state and hence increase the rate of evaporation. Whereas in the winter, temperature is comparatively less. So less molecules can gain the chance to increase the kinetic energy and escape out to the gaseous state. Therefore, the rate of evaporation is slow during winter. From this, we conclude that temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the molecules. It means that with the increase of the temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules increases, which result in greater rate of evaporation. Surface area Evaporation is a surface phenomena, so it depends upon the surface area. More the surface area, more will be the evaporation. For example, the water present in the glass take more time to evaporate than if we spread water on the floor. This is because the greater the surface area, greater the number of the liquid molecules have the chance to escape out into the vapor state and hence higher is the rate of evaporation. 